morning, beautiful people of God. This is Prophetess Rivers with another word, another message. Today, I want to talk to everyone about people twisting your words. Now, sometimes people might twist your words intentionally, and there's no harm on that because they didn't mean to do it. But then there are some people that purposely twist up your words and misinterpretate your words just to get you in trouble or just to start some drama with you. Let's look at two people in the Bible. Let's look at the story of Amos. Now, Ammonias went to the king and told him that he had prophesied and said that he was going to be killed. In fact, Amos didn't prophesy and say he was going to get killed. Amos said that Israel was going to go into captivity. He didn't say anything else, but because Ammonias had so much hate towards him and wanted to destroy him, he twisted his words. However, the king didn't pay it no mind. But that's just how some people will twist your words to try to get you caught up in some drama. And then let's look at the story with Jesus and the Pharisees. Jesus said in three days that he would rebuild the temple. Now, the Pharisee people went and they said that he was going to destroy the actual temple temple. And he wasn't talking about that temple. He was talking about his body. And because they said what they said and they twisted his words, then it had the people go and crucify Jesus. So you might want to pay attention to people when they sit up there and twist your words because are they doing it intentionally or is it really no harm given when they're saying it no foul to it now the question of the week is how do I feel about people sitting up there saying oh I was just I was just born like this or I was just set in my ways I've been like this for years I think that's a bunch of humbug right there because you got to see it as if a person is set in their ways and they were born like that and oh I was just raised like this why is it that you can go on your job and be around people that you know don't care for you don't like you but you make sure you be like yes sir yes ma'am go to work on time clock out do what you're supposed to do at work but yet if you were made like that and if you were set in your ways and you're going to be like that 24 7 so you pick and choose who you want to be set in your ways like. So you want to be aware of people that say that they were set in their ways because the word of God says only a fool stays in his own ways. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and all that you do, give God the honor, glory, and praise. To God be the glory.